Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Morning Cartooning. Um, I'm so excited to have you guys here. Um, we've got a fun episode planned. Uh, we're doing Little Orphan Annie, and uh, I learned a lot about uh, her that I didn't know about before, so I'm hoping uh, you guys are excited to learn more about it, too. All right, so if you're new here, I'd like to start off with today's morning game plan, which is where I describe what we're going to do in today's episode. Um, hey, Isabella. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, and I'd love to see you guys uh, answer the question in the chat. Today's question was, what was your favorite comic strip in the Sunday newspaper, and who is your favorite character from that strip? Um, yeah, I think my favorite was always Calvin and Hobbes, um, just because, like, I love the pictures. I love the characters. It was always so funny and sarcastic. Um, yeah, it was always a fun new strip. Uh, so today's morning game plan, we're going to do our art review, look at the art that we did last episode, then we're going to do our question, our quote of the day, and our morning mindfulness. Now the question of the day, or the quote of the day, kind of gets inspired to draw, gets inspired to be creative, and it's from somebody that is relevant to what the topic we're studying today. And then the morning mindfulness is just to take a moment to like collect our thoughts and figure out where we're at mentally um, really quick, just so that if we're upset about something, if we're happy about something, we know um, how to put that into our artwork by identifying it first. But if you don't, then it's kind of can come out in weird ways. Uh, next, we have our two drawing icons that you see at the top of the screen. Uh, those are hints at what we're gonna be drawing today. <coughs> Excuse me, and then we have our morning, um, our karate break, which is um, a chance for us to stretch our legs and arms and get a little bit less stiff and loosen up. Uh, because if there's one thing that you don't want when you're drawing, it's to be stiff and like all uh, like hunched over your drawings. That's not really um, the best uh, process for making good drawings. Then we have our uh, challenge of the day where I send you off with a challenge to do um, once the show's over and we check to see if we have any morning mail and then that's it all right so our art review for today we uh, last episode we did hey Hadassah glad you're here um, we did a uh, Coraline we created Coraline and that was a really weird show and, and uh, we tried to make our own clay sculptures and Colin actually was able to do one of himself too and I love it it's so awesome and I love the drawing too I the drawing I almost like just the style of it with the little little tiny eyes and the hair and everything really cool um, but yeah it was a fun time to try to make ourselves in um, Coraline style and out of clay and if you haven't tried it yet definitely worth a shot um, it's really it's really changes the way you think about creating art when you're like sculpting it out of clay um, if you guys want to send any of your artwork you can send it at noahpotpen at gmail.com or at teacher noah up there uh, teacher.noah on instagram so uh, Little Orphan Annie um, was actually started off as Little Orphan Annie, and it was an 1885 poem written by James Whitcomb, and that's him up there. Um, uh, James Whitcomb Riley, and it was originally called The Elf Child, and the name was changed to, uh, the name was changed by Riley to Little Orphan Annie by the third printing, though. Um, they actually had a printing mistake, and it changed it to Annie instead of Allie. Um, and that was the original title, Little Orphan Alley. Um, and so then, but because the poem was already um, gaining so much traction and becoming so, it was like trending, um, they just kept it with Annie and they changed it to Orphan Annie. Um, and then this is the girl actually that inspired the poem, which after the poem was written, then it inspired the comic strip. It also inspired like Raggedy Ann dolls. Um, and then it also inspired the movie right up here um, and then the 2014 remake on the right side and uh, one of the quotes I took from the movie was from Annie where she says when I'm stuck a day that's gray and lonely I just stick out my chin and grin and say oh the sun will come out tomorrow so you gotta hang on till tomorrow <clears throat> uh, clearly I did not sing that um, but she does in the movie and it's a really um, great line because um, it uh, gives you hope. 
And uh, so as we take a moment to breathe, so everybody take a deep breath in and out. And I want you to take a moment to breathe and I invite you to close your eyes and recall the last time you had a bad day that could be described as gray. Now, these gray days are usually really hard to endure and even harder to remember to have hope that there will be better days while you're in them. Uh, but if there's one thing that never changes in life, it's that everything changes sooner or later. And it's nice to remind ourselves that on days that feel gray, soon the sun will come out again. Now, as we move on to the next portion of class, I invite you to take this opportunity to use your art to encourage yourself to end or others to hope for a better future. I acted as Annie in the play at my local theater. Oh, that's so cool, Hadassah. How'd it go? I'm sure you were great. Um, so one of the quotes that Annie says is leaping lizards. And with that, let's go on to our first drawing um, activity. All right, so <clears throat> here I have the pictures. This, these are from the original comic strip and the book. <laughs> And then this is the girl from the actual um, 2014 remake. So what I was thinking would be a fun thing to do is try to draw the 2014 girl as in the style of the um, old comic strip, the original comic strip. And so that's what we're going to do today. All right, let's see. And I'm going to do her, I think, in the same poses right here, but just in the style of these two girls. All right, let's see. She's got a pretty big head, so we'll start off with that. All right, and how's everybody doing this Saturday morning? Are things starting to open up? It seems like, um, they really got the smile right for her. Um, it seems like everything's opening up. My students at the Parks and Rec are saying that the schools are opening up too. I think a big part of this is going to be the eyes. They just really get the... They really have a style with those eyes, the white eyes like that. Crazy. All right, let's... <clears throat> Now, if you're newer to drawing, I would say um, you should start with like uh, some stick figures or some basic shapes, which I'll try to fill in right here to show you. Um, I've been drawing for quite a long time now, and I kind of just go for it now, and then I can figure it out as I go. Um, but if you're less experienced and you haven't been drawing for as long, um, creating some basic shapes can be helpful. So that's what I'm going to do right here, some basic shapes. So we got like a little skirt thing going on.
Uzi with her shirt. She just like, I can't tell. It looks almost like a watercolor kind of like landscape. All right, let's shrink her down a little bit so we can have room for her legs. I like this style of like the thick legs where they're just like whoosh, one one kind of continuous thing. Let's see if we can make that work. Where they get thicker at the bottom, that's kind of cool. She's got converses on. Her face or she's like fully converses. go <clears throat> okay and for those of you that are also drawing on a tablet too this is the 6b pencil on your sketching which is just like the a regular drawing pencil that you would use like a number two pencil I think Okay, I think that's a pretty good sketch. I don't think there's much else we can add as far as the coloring goes, other than, well, I mean, other other than the coloring. Um, so I think let's do it, okay. I wanna lighten this layer up by using the changing the opacity, and then I'm gonna draw over it one more time, this time to actually get like solid, like clean lines. Yeah, that was about how they do the smile. Okay, perfect. The nose, they keep pretty simple, it looks like. Even for the adults, they're pretty simple. So we can't see our ears really, and we can't see the ears in the other version anyway. So it's perfect, okay. And her hair goes down behind her head, perfect, okay.
right. How are you guys doing? You guys are pretty quiet on today. Um, I think this side needs to be a little bit higher. Damien is here. Hey, Damien. Were you also in the play, too? Was not, and I would like to do an episode on wolves. Ooh, that would be cool. A wolf episode. Yeah. I feel like we did wolves before. I mean, not that we can't do it again. We can, definitely can. Um, what kind of wolves do you want to draw? Like, just like your... Just wolves in different poses. Um, wolves turning into people. Wolf Walker Wolves. Ooh. Um, what are those? Are those from a show? And thanks for being the interpreter, Hadassah. Or not the interpreter, but the uh, messenger. Show on Apple TV. Oh, thanks, Isabella. Oh, let me write that down. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Wolf Walker. All right. 
Um, looks awesome. What's it about? Wolf Walker. It's about like a dog walker, but he walks wolves instead. <laughs> I doubt that. Oh, it's a movie, okay. Um, yeah. Sorry I'm so low energy today, guys. I, I got the first COVID shot, and I am pooped. It is. I slept so, so, like a rock last night. <laughs> wolf when they're sleeping and a human when they're awake now is this different than a werewolf then and are they asleep as a werewolf or as a wolf Like if they're a wolf when they're asleep, that's not that fun, right? Because then, why does that look that looks so awkward? That stuff. Yeah, I don't love that hand. Hands are so hard. Okay, they aren't werewolves when they're asleep. Their wolf selves are awake. I mean, they're asleep. Okay. They aren't werewolves. Are you sure they're not werewolves? It sounds like they might be. Because what's the difference between a werewolf and a walker werewolf? <laughs> walker wolf. Or wolf walker. Is it just that it doesn't have anything to do with the moon? I don't really know that much about werewolves, so... It's so hard to do hands because it's like you just want to do like a casual flippant hand and it still ends up taking like some time. There's no like shortcuts to it. You just have to kind of put the time into it unless you don't if you don't want it to look awkward. Okay, that's good enough. Let's see what we got here. Uh, no, not werewolves. Their human bodies are left behind when they were sleeping while their wolf bodies are other places. Wait, do you, is, so is there always a wolf walking around and their, like, spirit just goes into the different one? Into, like, each of them?
All right. I think we're about done with inking. All right, so now I can hide this other layer. And what I like to do with my ink is I like to duplicate the ink layer and Gaussian blur the other one. And it kind of creates like a nice little like 3D effect. Let's see. Especially when you color it too. So let's color it. Um, watercolor brushes from Max. Um, okay, I'm just going to grab the color from here. Actually, these look like colored pencils, to be honest. Not watercolors. So let's do that instead. I think this chalk one will be a nice one. It's hard to explain. No, the rose, the. What is your favorite movie? I remember growing up, I think my favorite movie was Toy Story. It's still one of my top movies, I think. It's a great movie. Now I have the symbol come out tomorrow, stuck in my head. All right. I'm just trying to pick colors from the actual comic so that it, um, it just has that same vibe too. Same color scheme. Hadassah, what's your favorite movie? While we wait for Isabella to answer. favorite movie but specifically had a legally bond back to the future the first movie and Goonies for sure oh you can make some classic movies
Uh, ooh, Beverly Hills is new. I haven't watched any of them. The Winter Soldier. Oh my goodness. Everybody loves the Winter Soldier. Did you guys watch Falcon and Winter Soldier? We watched that here. Um, and wow, that was a good show for sure. I'm very excited for the Loki one to come out though. That one looks like this will be really cool too. All right, all right. Let's see if this works. What? <clears throat> What's your guys' favorite Marvel movie? I always like the Iron Man movies. <laughs> okay. You haven't watched any Marvel movies? <clears throat> Crazy, okay.
almost done here, then we'll do our karate break. Kind of overdraw it, covering with this brush. It's a little bit too, a little too gritty. I'm drawing a sci-fi Annie. Oh, cool! Can't wait to see that. I still think it was so funny that it, it was really alley. And then there was just a printing error, and then they just went with it. Like, I feel like if I had spent time to, like, pick a name for a character, and then it got changed to something else, I would be like, oh, that's so annoying. And then they just, now it's, like, famous. All right, that looks pretty good, I feel like. Got the style down, I think. Um, yeah. I think we'll call it on that. All right. Cool. So, uh, back to our karate break. Uh, if you're new, um, this is me when I was like, I think nine or nine years old doing karate or probably eight or something like that. Um, I used to do karate in Clifton, New Jersey, and, uh, and I kept on going there until I was older, and then I became uh, the karate teacher there uh, with a couple of the other guys who had been there for like their whole lives. And we would used to play a game with the kids called Sensei Says, and it's just like Simon Says, but we're doing karate moves, and Sensei is the word that they use for teacher. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by stretching. There we go. Stretch your arms out good try to get loose oh man my arm is so sore from that shot though um you can rotate your head tilt it back and forth around just try to get loose um especially if you've been sitting down for a long time we definitely don't want you guys to um yeah get stiff with your drawings drink some water too <clears throat> and here we go. Okay, so we're going to start with front kick. So, since it says front kick, since it says side kick, since it says back kick, uh, front kick, since it says side kick, back kick, since it says front kick, since it says side kick, back kick. Pretty simple. Let's add the blocks in. Ready? Okay, so since it says rising block, since it says cross block, since it says middle block, since it says down block, since it says rising block, middle block, since it says down block, since it says cross block. Since this is rising block, since this is cross block, since this is down block, since this is middle block, since this is paré, since this is paré, middle block, since this is rising block, since this is down block, since this is paré. Oh, nice, Damien. My favorite Marvel movie is Iron Man 2. Um, and all good, Isabella. Um, if you're not feeling up for it, I would suggest still getting up and stretching a little bit, though, just to change it up for yourself. Okay. Let's do uh, attacks now. Ready? So we're going to do straight punch. Um, I'm just going to go for it. I think you guys will get the picture. Uh, since he says straight punch, since he says spear hand, since he says heel palm, since he says hammer fist, since he says back fist, since he says shooto, since he says shooto, since he says ridge hand, since he says ridge hand, 
since he says vertical fist, vertical fist, since he says rising block, middle block, since he says front kick, since he says side kick, since he says middle block, since he says down block, heel palm, since he says back kick, since he says side kick, since he says rising block, since he says straight punch, since he says heel palm, hammer fist, since he says back fist, since he says middle block, since he says front kick, side kick, since he says back fist. All right, how'd you guys do? Let me know if you got out in the chat. Um, even if you watch this later, uh, when it's not live, I still want to know who got out and who didn't. Um, all right, and we'll move back to our uh, next slide. Okay, so the sun will come out tomorrow uh, is another phrase that uh, Orphan Andy said. And for our drawing challenge, I was thinking it would be fun to draw ourselves in this Orphan Andy style. So I'm going to draw myself. I'm going to move this over now that we're become experts at it. Um, here we go. And I'll draw myself standing right next to Orphan Annie. And if we have time, uh, we can include Slider in there too, just like how she has a dog too. All right, so let's try this. This time I think we can go a little bit faster um, because we already kind of got, <coughs> got the flow of it going. Okay, so I'm gonna make myself about this tall. And I like how they have like very boxy shapes for the characters. Um, to turn my head to look down at her. Here we go. Now, I don't think it'll be as entertaining for you guys to draw me, but you guys can draw yourselves while I'm drawing myself here. I'm gonna make myself holding like the apple pen. Just 
because I'm always holding it if I'm drawing here. I feel like I need to change my. S okay, here we go. Like my legs are not long enough. Um, we're gonna have to change this. There we go. That's a little bit better. The center of gravity on my guy was a little bit off. I don't know what my hand is doing. It almost looks like a paw instead of a hand. Let's see. I always get one hand all right, and then the second hand is always meh. I still feel like the legs could be longer. Now all we have to do is just do a quick little ink over it, um, color in how we draw the time. You know what? Let's just color it because we're out of time. Okay.
use the same blue for her from hers just so it's like it seems like it's from the same universe and world too it's like little things like that that really help it um help drawings like look cohesive using the same color palette Ah, wrong one. Okay. So we have this purple. That's gonna make it a little bit lighter. And last but not least, some orange crocs. some blush too because they go crazy with the blush in this the salmon crocs <laughs> I guess you did order them. Is that why you're saying that? Because they, they, when you order them, they call them salmon. Don't hear from me the whole time, and then all of a sudden you pop in for the salmon crocs. <laughs> all right, there we go. Little orphan Annie and teacher Noah, all in one. All right. Now, challenge of the day is to draw yourself as one of the orphan um, Annie Kyle uh, style uh, style. Or if you have another favorite comic strip, you could draw yourself in that style too. It's always fun to try to like try out different styles like this. Um, send in your art for that you did today. I definitely want to see your futuristic um, or your sci-fi Annie Hadassah. Um, send it into noahfontana at gmail.com or at teacher.noah on Instagram. Uh, don't forget thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. You can donate too. Um, you can comment below what you want to draw next. And uh, send your drawings to noahfontan at gmail.com. All right, next week, we're going to be illustrating like Charlie Mackesy. And I believe this is a, a suggestion from Hadassah. And, um, and I'm super excited. My friend actually got me the, the book of, of Charlie Mackesy that he wrote. 
and um kathy of course the iconic comic strip yeah 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 um uh yeah, but yeah, this is this will be a really fun one. I'm thinking let's do I actually have quill pens and ink and watercolors. So let's do that. Let's let's um if you have or if you have the chance to buy like a cheap pair uh packet of quill pens, do that for next episode. Um I think they're probably like ten dollars or something like that at a Michaels or a craft store or something like that. Um make sure you grab some ink too and you literally dip the ink in the quill pen and you can draw it and it's really fun. So we'll do that live. Uh, we won't be using the tablet next episode. Um, and we'll also be using watercolors too. So can't wait to see you guys there. It'll be a lot of fun for sure. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.